Welcome. Thanks for joining me. My name is Melissa Birch and I'm with the Clean Energy Resource Teams. I'm here to talk to you about the solar resources available at CERTS. But first, a few words about CERTS. The Clean Energy Resource Teams, or CERTS, are a statewide partnership with a mission to connect people with the resources they need to do community-determined clean energy projects. We empower communities and their members to adopt energy conservation, energy efficiency, and renewable energy technologies and practices for their homes, businesses, and local institutions. So, you're interested in solar, but you aren't sure where to start. Our Simple Steps to Solar fact sheet is an overview of the process for getting solar, and then, if you want to dig deeper, Solar Electricity for the Home, Farm, and Business is a series of fact sheets designed to help you determine if a solar electric system will work for you. The introduction has basic educational information, myth busting, and an orientation. Then there's building and site assessment, conservation and efficiency, system components, system sizing, costs, installation, and an electricity use worksheet. Then, you can also use the Minnesota Solar app to check out your roof or other parts of your property to see if they might be good solar sites. Then you can use the Clean Energy Project Builder website managed by CERTS to find solar installers that can help you get your projects done. Just search by zip code to find out who's in your area. But maybe you don't have a good solar site, or you don't want to insta install solar on your property for some other reason. That's okay. There may be an another option, community solar gardens. These are centrally located solar PV systems that provide electricity to participating subscribers. Think of a community garden with solar. With a community garden, a bunch of neighbors come together at one central location to garden rather than having their own gardens in their own yards. There is centralized water and a sense of gardening camaraderie. You might also compare it to a CSA where several members come together to support one farm and all benefit with fresh produce. Participants in a community solar garden have their own share of a centrally located project and receive a direct benefit solar energy. Community solar gardens come in all shapes and sizes and there are many projects across utility territories in Minnesota. To help you understand your solar garden options, CERTS offers many guides on different aspects of community solar gardens. On a related subject, the Community Solar Garden Subscriber Collaborative was a joint effort by and for 31 local governments in the Greater Twin Cities metropolitan region to procure solar garden subscriptions from a single request for proposal process to offset the energy usage at public facilities. By working together, the participants sought to gain an economy of scale in the solicitation process that could help attract developers reduce the administrative burden to vet those developers, and yield better pricing and subscription terms. Details about this process can be found in the report Going Farther Together, the Governmental Solar Garden Subscriber Collaborative, which is available on our website. Finally, for public institutions interested in acquiring solar using third-party investors, CERTS collaborated with the City of Woodbury and KFI Engineering to develop a Model Request for Proposals, or RFP, that would enable local governments and school districts to more easily compare proposals. The Model RFP contains traditional RFP language about the responder's experience, qualifications, project scope, and schedule, while also providing a comprehensive overview of technical spec specifications, site utility use, energy generation estimates, and more. So do you have solar questions? Get in touch with us about all things clean energy at cleanenergyresourceteams.org. Thanks for watching.